What's up, Wolfback fam? It's your boy, Kid. Back at it again. Hope everyone is doing great. Gonna be checking out the Robot Wars, the grudge matches. Let's freaking go, boys and girls. Let's go. Quality. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome a man under siege, Craig Charles. Welcome to our special grudge match edition of Robot Wars. Now, over the course of the last two wars, over 150 teams have competed and things have turned a bit nasty. Some people haven't been happy with our judges' decisions. Others have made enemies and want to sort them out. Some just want revenge. And, hey, if people want to fight, who are we to stop them? Word. Over the course of the next half hour, prides will be dented, scores will be settled, and grown men will be reduced to tears. And we're going to love it. It all starts here. Mortis v Cassius. It's Judgment Day. Yeah. Mortis against Cassius. Our first grudge match. Mortis, of course, driven by Rob Knight and the Cambridge Boys, and Cassius by the crowd favourite, Rex Garrard. This grudge actually dates back to a judge's decision in the first wars, when Rex's robot Re Cyclops controversially eliminated Mortis for a place in the grand final. Let's remind ourselves of those dramatic moments. Mortis retaliates underneath and is now driving into another patrol area. It's stuck on the side bars and needs to get out and is negative here. Re Cyclops is trying to get away, but not Mortis. And Mortis is taking more damage. Cease. What a finish! And it goes to the judges! And let's have a look while we wait at some of the points they will be considering. Good dodging by Recyclops, damage to Mortis. Recyclops aggressive and attacking. Poor steering by Mortis, got it in there in the first place, but retaliating. Good defensive work by Recyclops, again aggression from Recyclops. And good defensive work, withstanding the Mortis thrust. And I think this could count against Mortis ultimately driving in there onto the sidebars. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we're waiting for the judge's decision. I can't believe this. It's gone to Recyclops. Mortis are out. We pushed them out. We had all the attacks. And we think we should have won. We'll have a rematch. Rematch is fine by now. Well, they've had to wait for it. Robot but now's your chance. Stand by. The rematch. The grudge match. Let's go. Three, two, one. Activate. Mortis with the Kevlar laminated. Cassius with the self writing arm. Both of them look back at Scarlet and Weary. Ooh, look at that axe coming in. Cassius wise with Rex Garrard steering away. Oh, there's damage. Ooh. Look at that. Look at the mark on top of Cassius, scything in a hole. Cassius turns away now. Avoids the pit. Whoa. Oh! Almost into the pit from Rex Garrard. Needs to get out from there. Shunt to give him an. Early What's push on? into doom and gloom. Oh now away again. Meanwhile, Mortis waits there. Cassius trying to nudge Mortis into the pit of oblivion. Uh -oh. Just, oh no! <laughs> what on earth was he doing? Yell the juke, man. Mortis has won the grudge match. And Rex Garrod committed suicide. You oh, too. And Mortis goes too. Oh, look at the dent on top of Mortis. How's Robots get there? Long awaited revenge, and Cassius rises from the dead. Brilliant stuff. Yo, my man's came out like not in the living dead. Cassius, man, I forgot to say who I wanted to win, but it didn't matter really much. I didn't care. Who, whoever wins, wins. Cassius rises, tries to push Mortis out. Splendid entertainment. What a lousy piece of driving. You are not wrong, are you? You are the worst. You designed the best robot and you're the worst driver. Yeah, I am. And then you had a sitting duck there. And what did you do? You just went and drove right into the pit. But did you like why I tried to get them out of the pit? <laughs> I lifted them out of the pit. You almost lifted them out of the pit as well with that self writing arm of yours. Sorry, we declared it a dead heat. Dead heat, we've got to go again. Why did you we've, we've lost a track. I know you were like a sitting duck there, weren't you? Yeah. I mean, it must have got damaged when I went over the spikes. Did you feel a bit vindicated though, having taken on the new robot? Yeah, uh, ten uh, technically it means nothing to me. I'm going to fight it out <laughs> to the death. Let's just build fair and square. Come on, ah, that did not at all. <laughs> no, we didn't. Stupid driving. Here, <laughs> that drive for a minute. We didn't beat you. <laughs> well, come on, shame on that. I'll let them sort it out any way they want. Okay. <laughs> Give a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. This shit is wholesome as 
as fuck, guys. I love it. I wonder if the feud has finally been settled. I don't think so. Mortis, will they be back? Now it's time for the heavyweight reserves. These guys almost made it onto the show, but didn't quite get in. But now, thanks to Grudge Match, they finally made it. It's Reserve Rumble! And our five contenders, Lateral Thought, Malice, Bumblebot, Forklift and Jim Struts. Here's Lateral Thought, a six-wheeler weighing in at 56.2 kilograms, driven by University of Glamorgan students. Malice, heavier at 68.4 kilograms, the body shells made from the material used for aircraft floors. Bumblebot has a sting in the hammer, which is powered by a 15-foot bungee cord. Forklift's main weapon is driven by the windscreen wiper motor from a car driven by John Benton on the right. On the left, father and daughter team, Ian and Kerry Inglis with robot Jim Struts, the only Ooh. walker in Robot Wars. So what's your name? Kerry. And what's your robot's name? Jim Struts. Why? <laughs> because he was meant to strut, but he sort of walks now. Why a walking robot? Well, I thought I'd get a uh, weight advantage. And it turned out a much more complex problem than that. <laughs> Go on. Uh, it's quite difficult to make it walk. And it's ended up a lot too, far too heavy, really. Might it teeter over as well? It is, um, it's, it's not very stable. <laughs> so it, it keeps on falling over in the garden. We've crushed a few rose bushes and things like that. <laughs> Very cool looking robot. Let's go with Bumblebot, but um, that strutting one is pretty cool. Robot ears, stand by. Kerry English is keen to drive a Formula One car. She's 11. Three, two, one, activate. Jim Struts, centre stage. Quite a little fancy there. Bumblebot came into the picture right there with a big hammer. Swinging through 180 degrees, that's lateral thought. Dead metal already, and shunt causing damage. Nice. I think there's a punch mark, there is. Maybe more than one there for lateral thought. Forklift in danger. Shunt is in on lateral thought, and Killerlock plucks Malice into the air. Yes. Malice in real trouble, so too lateral thought. Mm. Shunt is in for the kill. Killerlock picks and tosses Malice into the air towards the flames, and Shunt, he ho! Yeah. Cheerio for lateral thought. This is Malice. Surely they go the same way. Kill a lot means business. <laughs> Sober. And Let's out go. for you into the smoke and flames and cauldron of hell. They've gone. Bumblebot, forklift, and uh, Jim Strut still. Bumblebot trying to swing the hammer. So That's slow. early aggression if it comes to the judges. I don't think it'll come to the judges. Not for this one. Look at that. One puncture mark. Two. Into the flame, Sue. Oh. Shunt's pickaxe here, wrecking havoc. You really have got to get a, a more protective shell, boys. Kill a lot flips. The vulnerable underbelly there of forklift. It's only plywood in real Ooh. trouble. The top comes off. Something flew out there from the very belly of forklift. I think it was a ballast brick to keep it on the ground on the surface. Yes. It's not on the surface. It's into the flames, though. It's torched. It's going to be burnt. It's on fire, forklift. A fiery forklift! BBQ. Well, I don't think we've seen a robot uh, matched up quite like this one. That's the end of forklift. Well, do you think so? Yeah, I do. And meanwhile, Jim Struts and Bumblebot to fight it out then. Jim Struts, I think, uh -oh. trying to flick. Yes, trying to flick Bumblebot into the air there, trying to get those feet into play. You'll be drawing your pension by the time Jim Struts gets into a gallop. Meanwhile, shunt and dead metal. Oh, inflicting punishment on Bumblebot. Oh, he has the shell holding, I think. Here's a lick of flame from the sergeant. And meanwhile, Jim Struts, alone, undaunted, unmarked, and I think a very curious winner. Nice. Yeah. Jim Struts are the winner. If I don't say this comment, I'm going to forget, so I have to pause for a second. That Jim Struts reminds me, if anyone who watches the Star Wars, those walkers, doom, 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 that shit reminds me of that. So the most coolest kind of uh, strutting robot we have ever seen so far. You gave all the robots a right good kicking. You haven't, um, you haven't got 
any weapons, though, really, have you? It's the feet are meant to be weapons. We tried going for a bumblebee and uh, tried to lift him up, but Is it? we didn't succeed. We we're not very quick. Everyone got out of our way far too quickly. It's the only walker that we've ever had on Robot Wars. It's good, isn't it? It's brilliant. I mean, it's an amazing feat of engineering. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. Our heavyweight reserve winners. Well done. Our first walker. Hopefully, we'll see more in the next wars. Great job. Now, with Sergeant Bash around, you'd be pretty stupid to cover your robot in fear. Either that would be an arsonist with a lust for pyrotechnical destruction. Our next contenders don't look stupid, so make your own minds up as we fire up the robots and get stuck in. Inferno Insurrection, a special exhibition grudge match featuring our own Sergeant Bash. Ooh. With Ram Rombin, a sacrificial robot built especially for this exhibition, driven by an old friend of Robot Wars, George Francis. Now he loves to take okay. on a house robot. Find you, so do the boys from Dublin. With Nemesis from Ireland, a furry, freakish fireball too often in Robot Wars, all Air Force engineers giving a smouldering look there to Bash because they remember him so well from the past. Oh, my God, they're going to get The burnt. Nemesis boys all want to go into space and they're in the air! They're in the air! And they're on fire! It could all be over for Nemesis shortly now! Nemesis! Burning! On fire! Waiting for them is Killer Lock 2! Oh my goodness me! Hopes up in flames! Burning, boggling Nemesis eyes! Well, guys, you went out in a ball of flames in the last war. I, I, I would have thought you'd land! Not at all. Burn it, that's what I say. Burn it all to hell. <laughs> Robot ears, stand by. Would you look at that? I can't believe it, Nemesis. Three. Two. Come on, Nemesis. One. Get it. Nemesis has the kebab on board, the onions and the chef's hat. This is brilliant. Bash immediately goes in. And we've even Whoa. heard they doused each other with paraffin in the pits here. Oh, look at Ram Rombit, the sacrificial robot. And look at Nemesis on fire. <laughs> well, I hope you like your kebab well cooked. I don't think this is going to last long. For goodness sake, don't try this at home, any of you. These are trade robot ears. Would you believe it? My health and safety <laughs> boys are <laughs> <laughs> Look at Nemesis! Oh my God! Oh, it's a Catherine wheel, Ram Rombit. Ah, oh, fireworks! That's brilliant. That was. Yo, Rum Robot, oh, that, that tall one reminds me of Alpha 5 from Power Rangers. And these guys' outfits, I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of Flintstones. What the hell? Oh, shoot, don't tell me my internet went down. Hold on, guys. Uh, Absolutely. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, terrific stuff. Mmm, <laughs> that looks like the tastiest barbecue I've ever seen. We saved now, an onion for you. <laughs> you saved an onion for me? Oh, I'm so touched. Really, I am. Oh, the eyes are completely melted. <laughs> Have you heard enough fire now? Do you think you can leave it now? Well, our tactics was to go up the middle with smoke. <laughs> I think there was a lot more smoke than we thought it was going to be. <laughs> <laughs> Time for the heaviest of our divisions, the super heavyweights. These are the big boys, the Pavarotti's of the robot world. Pound for pound, these could give our house robots a good run for their money. Let's get down to some serious wanton destruction and heavy metal carnage. Super showdown! Our first contender, Siren, weighing in at a hefty 119.2 kilos, captained by Peter Wilson. It's stainless steel. It's very durable. A real survivor, this robot. Our next contender, wearing yellow but no coward, Kick Robot, with Dan Ian Arnold, daughter Lorraine, and 12 year old son Carl. It's got two chisel shaped arms which can flip, tip, and nice. topple. Yes! All for that one, guys. Wearing red, Berserk. The team, Stuart Ford, Chris O'Donnell and Martin Kershaw, another powerful forklift and ram capable of throwing even the heaviest of robots and our very own Sergeant Bash. Damn, this is tough. And finally, Demon Duck, the heaviest bot in the field at 155.6 kilos with Lee Harper, Sean Baker and Nick Milner on the left there. Its chassis is made of 8mm plate mild steel, armour-plated bodywork, stainless, it's strong enough to hang on in there when bashed, battered and beaten. One frailty, high tensile steel tracks which can come off. Demon Duck. 
It's reversible, it can run upside down, those black eyes glow red in the dark, and it completes our lineup for the Super Showdown. Nice. Berserk, Kick Robot, Siren, and Demon Duck fight Kick against each other. And okay. back again, that Demon Duck bulldozer blade, 900 millimeters wide. All engineers, quite confident. The Siren team, watch out for its tungsten carbide fixed blade. The young boys, Paul Brown, Peter Wilson. Kick Robot, apart from the chisels in front, it also has a pointed attack cylinder at the rear. Berserk, like any other team in Robot Wars, this is special. All face difficulties, these boys have special skills to overcome theirs. Martin, who's the team captain here? Stuart. Stuart's the team captain. Yeah. And who came up with the idea? Stuart. Stuart? Yeah. <laughs> and the rest of you just got roped in. Yeah. Right, let me ask you, how do you yeah. sign? Uh, welcome to Robot Wars. <laughs> Uh, 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 what is it? Uh, 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 uh. stand by. Three, two, one, activate. Berserk team moves slowly off. There's Demon Duck and Berserk again. Kick Robot comes in on Siren. Pushed Damn. away by Demon Duck. Shoveled away by Demon Duck there, Kick Robot. Here's Berserk. Now that's a good nice. mighty heave ho on Shunt and Killlock didn't like it. Trying to grip there the forklift front of Berserk. Lifting into the air and getting revenge here on behalf of the house robot. Dragging in fact the forklift into the air. Berserk being pulled across towards one of the pits. I hope he's got the free bit in the knees. And Berserk is broiled. <laughs> yeah. The red paint beginning to blister. This is Siren dodging trouble. Berserk's back into play though. Siren confronted by the demon duck on one side and kick rope on the other side. And there's kick rope oh. with those chisel shaped arms we were talking about. Raised aloft in triumph there. About to take on Siren once more. Still, all four robots. Ooh, oh. just in play. But Siren nearly going down into the pit and Matilda Push. comes in. Rear end, forward. There's the chainsaw of Matilda. Oh. Doesn't seem to do too much damage and nearly tippling and toppling Siren into the pit. Push it. Matilda doing all her damage with her backside. Ugh, that's a grisly thought. And out goes the Siren. Hell yeah. Three robots left. Berserk taking punishment from Shunt. Shunt trying to do the dentist's trick on the old teeth there of Berserk. It's it. Kill him on again, lift. Shunt uses the pickaxe. One blow, kill a lot there as well, onto the flame, onto the barbecue. Meanwhile, Demon Duck is that immobilized. I think Demon Duck's immobilized and out of it. So Berserk and Kick Robot in there. Kick Robot trying to dodge Six. our mace. And Kick Robot for me was the only one still in play. Berserk on the flame pit. Good job. And the winners are Kick Robot. Yeah! Are you so surprised? Because everyone else is just really good. Are you happy? Yeah, but there's one problem. What? My, my friend's robot went down a hole. Your friend's robot went down a hole? Well, we'll have to get him out then, won't we? Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause, the super heavyweight winners. Yay! Kick robot. Awesome. Robot Wars has launched into cyberspace. Roboteers invading the internet, beating up computer viruses. The thing is, four veterans from Robot Wars all think their website is best. There's only one way we sort an argument like that out on Robot Wars, by letting them kick the hell out of each other. Let's get stuck in. Internet insurrection. Well, basically, uh, fan websites have been put together since last... The, the last, last war. war. Um, and basically, it's uh, really to sort out once and for who's got the best one. Adam reckons he's got a good one, and we think he hasn't. We're winning with three other robots, and so it should be interesting. That should be good. Looking forward to it. Should be fun. Robot ears, stand by. All robots remote control driven. Or are they? Three, two, one, activate. 
That's corporal punishment making the early time against Griffin Ooh. on the spikes. Griffin, I need to get out from there. That's Kilohertz and Griffin coming in. Oh, I thought I saw a chain flailed away from Matilda. Look nice. at this. Bash is going and going. And all the teams love that. Griffin it was who turned the sergeant over. Corporal punishment coming in to have a little bit of a piece of that a little bit too late. There's Kilohertz. And the house robots have seen the Kilohertz team celebrating the demise of Bash and they want revenge. And Body Hammer being pressed in because they're going for Kilohertz here first. And over it goes. So Shunt gets revenge on behalf of Bash and Kilohertz is gone. Immobilised. Shunt comes in for a little piece of damage too. I don't think Kilohertz is going to get back in action. This is just more damage onto the flames. Dead metal there at the top of your picture. Look at the slice out of that. No impact. Are you sure? Aha! That's what happened to the mascot. Body Hammer with the yellow stripes. Still in there fighting. This is Griffin. And again, that mighty heave. Oh, lifting ram. Body Hammer spins away. Still very much alive, but now pinned in by Dead Metal. Look at the little flail there. Very dangerous. Like a savage wasp sting. Dead Metal is bumped up into the air by Body Hammer. Turning again. Done well so far, Body Hammer. Little spin. That's Corporal Punishment being pinned in Damn. by the Sergeant. I think that's the end of Corporal Punishment. They're immobilised, they're out of it. It's Body Hammer now against Griffin. Body Hammer doing all the aggression. Griffin pushed down by Dead Metal onto a spike, trying to get away there, look. I can see Matilda in the background. Ooh, nice. good turning here by Griffin. That's good steering and control. Matilda's sparks fly. She senses victory could be hers. I don't think it can be, though. I think Griffin will get away, and this is a good attack here by Body Hammer in underneath, but it's pinned in now under Dead Metal. I think Body Hammer's now immobilised itself, and Griffin was still going at the end, only just. Who's won it? Very oh. close. We are waiting for a judge's decision. Before we decide, let's have a look at some of the highlights of that fight. No doubting the early highlight for the crowd. Sergeant Bash flipped up and over yep. by Griffin. Kilohertz celebrating, and this was... Their payback from the house robots. That was enough really to put Kilohertz out of it. This is another great heave ho from the aggressive Griffin. Body Hammer pins itself in. Griffin was Griffin still moving at the end. Very tight this. And the judge's decision is Griffin! Griffin come up the platform! Wow. <laughs> well, oh, you've won the website, Grudge Match. How do you feel? All I wanted to do this time was take over a house robot. Sorry, blokes. Make better time next year. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a round of applause. <laughs> well, we've brought you the super heavyweights. Now for our lighter category winners. And first of all, the featherweight. And a hero of the First Wars, 11-year-old Sam Rudgard with Demolisher. Splendid character. Withstanding battering and pressure from the house robots. Finally, to polish off Armadillo, driven by Adam Clark. And Sam and Demolisher are featherweight champions. Okay. On to the lightweight class, withstanding a dreadful battering from Shunt and Matilda, Charles Dale Steeples, Colin Pearson with Slippery Strana. Slippery Strana are lightweight champions. To the middleweight, <laughs> our wedge-shaped cheese robot. Jeez. Do I smell a rat? Hard cheese with Captain Nigel Kerr, Stephen Davidson, Alan Steen. Well done to them. Yes. yes, we burn just about everything on Robot Wars. Don't worry, they patched him up. And <laughs> our middleweight winners from the Second Wars, Hard Cheese. A grudge match now between Mortis and Napalm. Napalm were knocked out in the series semi-finals, but the girls from Dartford feel cheated, and the adjudicator's decision didn't go their way. And now they want revenge. Whoa. Oh, Judgment shit. Day 2! Mortis against Napalm! So this grudge dates back to this controversial decision in the series semi-finals. Mortis suffered damage, was given a second chance in the trials by the adjudicators, and because of their decision and deliberation, Mortis went through and eventually the girls from Dartford were eliminated. So I'm joined by the Napalm team and the Mortis team. Now, you think a judge decision went against you and you want a, a, a grudge match. But do you think you can take them on? They've got a pretty hard robot, you know? Yeah, so have we, I think. Okay, okay, well, hey, how do you think it's going to go for you? 
Uh, I know we'll have a play around and put a throw holes in the armor and knock it down a pit. You know, you're going to start. You're going to get that axe working? Hopefully. Ladies and gentlemen, let's watch this thing. Here, yeah, pardon. Mortish and that axe. Napalm. All in flame red. Rob Knight. He wants the win. So does Claire Greenaway and David Crosby. Three, two, one. Activate. Napalm rising on its back wheels, and already Mortis goes in underneath. They're the mandibles, the dreadful mandibles, the jaws of Napalm. Revenge. And it seems to me that Mortis can withstand everything that Napalm can throw at it. Mortis should be toying, I think, not getting the action to play. Oh, until then, and look at that immediately. Creating major, major damage. Now the push towards the pit. One in the eye for Napalm. They're trying to steer away. That axe is surely the most penetrating weapon in the entire history of Robot Wars. It is grisly. Trying to get in on the engine and the motors there. Of Napalm. Push it. Pushing back, though. Mortis dangerously close to a pit. It tries a little shove towards the PPZ. Here comes Napalm. Oh, what an awfully doing. Oh, Claire. What have you done, Claire? No chance in hell. Oh dear, oh dear. Into the pit and out. <laughs> and of course, Mortis is the winner. And the <laughs> roar, the bellicose roar of Rob Knight says, I want some of the house robots. They support him in his quest to take on Kill a Lot. Is that wise? Against the sidebars of this final grudge match of this series of Robot Wars. Matilda and Kill a Lot. All the house robots oh, getting no, involved. Oh. oh no, he says, oh no, well it was your decision. You're on your back, now take the punishment, son. In comes Shunt with the pickaxe and the Sentinel as yes. well. Using the big rhino horn to bash and dent Kilolot's final graceful gesture to take. Mortis towards the flame pit, trying to use the axe to flip up and over, I think, there. Mortis survives, Mortis the winner. It was a good grudge match, wasn't it? Yeah. And the winner is obviously Mortis! You did really well. And then you went on and took the house robots on as well and, and, yeah. and gave them a good run for the money. That axe is a pretty amazing axe, isn't it? Yeah, it's not quite powerful. It's gonna hop now, yeah? It's yeah. not quite powerful enough to get us back over. You want one like Cassius, don't you? Yeah, there wasn't maybe one on, but we bust it just before we turned up. That'll be for next time. Anyway, let's get the girls in. Napalm, close the platform! He showed you, didn't he? Yeah, I think he's better than us. <laughs> he, he bashed all your lights out and gave you some serious bits of damage there, didn't he? Yeah, we'll try and fix it, but it was a laugh. <laughs> hey, hey, yeah, how about a conciliatory kiss between the two of Go on. <laughs> hey! Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, give them both a round of applause! Oh, romance blossoms. A tear comes to my eye, Craig, and a bucket to my hand. Good song Thanks for watching check. our Grudge Match special. After all the scores, we've got time to settle. Now remember, we don't suffer fools and we don't like bores, but we do get even on Robot Wars. Bye-bye. Listen, eh? It was very fun. <laughs> you enjoyed that, didn't you? Yeah, it was good fun. But was it, tell me, was it really a consolation prize getting a kiss from Rob? No. <laughs> <laughs> she said, why well, I gotta kiss that man, sir? Why you make me do that shit? Oh, shit. Nice. Very nice. Uh, yo, so check this out. Here's the cool thing about this for me personally. I know I, I know I say a lot about trials. But at least if it's one episode, I got a break from trials. This episode rocks. So we get to see a little bit more of Mortis and Cassius. I'm a huge fan of both those robots. Um, very interesting what the young chap said that who knows, maybe Mortis will have something very similar to Cassius because both of those robots are already very similar. I think Cassius is a little bit more faster, but... Um, very similar, you know, obviously that axe on Mortis is way better and, and, and you know, really uh, 
does a good pound. And so that chick um, who was controlling Napalm, she wanted that grudge match. But after that thing started, she ain't want none of that. Um, she started seeing uh, Mortis Axe hit that thing. And that thing goes so damn fast. And, it, it you know, it's puncturing, right? So when she saw that in her head, she's probably like, yo, this is a wrap. We lost. What did I get? What did I sign myself up to? But um, I, I love the wholesomeness of the show. I love the sportsmanship of the show. Obviously, the, you know, Craig is the man. But um, seeing some other robots that is very easy to uh, kind of forget a lot of the other robots because, again, some didn't get a chance to really shine. Some didn't get a chance to excel. So um, this grudge match stuff is dope. Very, very cool to see this. Uh, no trials again, guys. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta say this as much as, as much as I can. No freaking trials, man. So this was already epic. Um, you know, more, more robot wars. Um, you know, hey, if we get more bouts going on. Um, that's great. One thing that I find very cool about the show, especially this episode, is um, each of the bouts had like very creative names going on to it. One of the like the one that you knew was just like not going to go well was um was the uh Nemesis one. And um I, I forgot the tall robot on it cuz there's a lot of robots going on in this episode and I don't want to go backtrack. So um and we'll call him Alpha 5. <laughs> if you watch Power Rangers, you know what I mean, but um uh you just knew that they're going to get roasted and barbecued up. One cool thing about the show is if you ever take out a house robot, you know the other robots are coming for revenge. Kill a lot, still one of the coolest robots, house robots. I think that's probably got to be my favorite one. I am a fan of Matilda. I mean, there's really no wrong house robot, but um, I just kill a lot. Is just his design is just you know phenomenal. Uh, I love when he's picking up people and gonna send them down to the pit or barbecue them up. Um, but yeah. The cool thing about it, get to see some other robots that didn't get a chance to shine. That's really cool. Um, Cause you know, the trials are cool, but they do leave, um, you know, people not to get a chance to really bout. Cause for me, it's all about the wars. That's not going to change. I'm probably never really going to be a fan of the trials. That's just being honest with you guys. Um, it's a part of the show right now, you know, that we we've seen so far. And um but like where the excitement kicks in is obviously the bouts. That's what you want to see. Uh, and if also too, the cool part is if, uh, um, you know, somebody messes up the house robots, that's where it's like, yeah, mess it up, mess it up. Or when they get, you know, thrown into a pit. So, I mean, it has, it has its, you know, strengths and weaknesses. Um, but I think that as the seasons have been going on, the robots are getting better. I can only imagine, um, season three and up, um, you know, technology is going to start getting better. Um, I forgot the year that this uh, initially, I know someone mentioned it in the comments. Uh, I'll recheck it when I get a chance. But, um, you know, when these shows came out, you know, technology is just, you know, it's getting fresh. They didn't even have it in like HD, you know, it was like, I don't know, 480p or some crap like that. So, you know, as things get better, the robots get better. Um, so, you know, we are just in for the ride. Good entertainment, very chill uh, entertainment. Like the wholesomeness to it. Uh, you know, nobody's really you know cursing each other out. Um, Cassius crew is dope, man. That guy is very humble. You know, he's trying to handshake the guy. Um, the other guys talking a little smack. You know, a little light smack. You know, it's perfect. So you know, great episode. We'll have more. I hope you guys are enjoying it. Remember, if you're enjoying it. Consider leaving a like and or comment, and uh, we'll see you next time. More Robot Wars. So, peace out. Peace.